let us see how you can use the waiting list to improve your workflow and uh, productivity in lab operations uh, so mainly there are two views in the waiting list uh, patient wise waiting list and test wise waiting list okay so these are the two views which are available so in patient wise waiting list um, you can see the different patients whose reports are uh, there in the waiting list in the test wise um, the tests are uh, open okay so you can see all the tests directly over here so in the patient wise waiting list um, you need to open the patient to see the tests of those patients but in the test wise waiting list you can see all the tests open and the patient name against them and you can open the reports directly from here um, besides this there are filters which allow you to choose uh, which department you want to work in so suppose if you work in biochemistry and only want to see biochemistry tests then you can choose this filter you can also use uh, this date wise filter to see the reports of uh, patients who which are in the waiting list across uh, different dates then you also have uh, different filters available here you can filter by test by test status so if you just want to see completed you can just see completed reports if uh, and if you're working in a particular test then you can filter by that test you can really filter down and focus on particular tests for a particular status in patient wise you can filter by referral and organization so, so if you want to search by for a particular doctor's report then you can filter down from here in the patient wise view if i open i can see in the patient overview uh, any older reports if the patient has i can see all the older reports here and i can also use the share report option to send the reports uh, to the doctor uh, or to the patient manually if I want to send it again uh, or any other person if I get the email later on I can send it from here you can also filter by status from the left hand side which also gives a count so there are 61 reports which are incomplete right now there are 8 reports which are completed uh, that means they are yet to be approved and there are 19 reports which are already authorized but not yet submitted for a particular department you can also use the submit all button to submit all the reports which have been signed for that department the new waiting list also allows you to fill reports one after the other so suppose if i select uh, one test lft and i fill this report save the result it automatically goes to the next report where i can fill the result and save the result and uh, so on now similarly if the report has been completed you can just open the report and sign the report and it automatically loads the next one to be signed so you can verify and then sign the next one so this is how you can uh, quickly go through multiple reports without having to close each one of them so you can just sign and then it will open the next one automatically you also have the search uh, on the top so you can search patients by the name accession number bill id order id you can search patients over here uh, if this search searches the patients which are there in this waiting list but you can also search patients beyond the waiting list uh, in this uh, global search we also have advanced search this search allows you to search patients or reports uh, or even bills using multiple parameters see suppose if you want to search a patients by using their accession number you can just enter the accession number and search and you'll see the reports of that patient uh, directly over here and see the status similarly you can search the bill of that patient um, using the same accession number and you can see the status of the bill and you can even print the bill from here the reports which are submitted uh, will come to the archive section so in archives you can see um, the reports which have been already submitted and i can print the reports from here and i can see the status if it is read or not by the patient and uh, if the email was sent to the patient or not and i can print the report again from here i can search the uh, patient's older reports from here any patient uh, from the past i can search from here and i can get the reports uh, in the archives 